apple cider vinegar. I'm sure you've heard a lot about it and also maybe watched a lot of videos about it. But today, we'll be discussing some science-backed benefits and also a lot more about it. So, welcome back to Maddie and Masala. First things first, what's the difference between filtered and unfiltered apple cider vinegar? Well, unfiltered apple cider vinegar is the one which is organic and raw. It contains the mother, which is all the healthy bacteria and nutrients contained in organic apple cider vinegar. And because of the mother, there is a dark, murky yellow color in the unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Whereas filtered apple cider vinegar is devoid of the mother and the nutrients coming along with it. You can clearly see the difference between the two. While buying apple cider vinegar, the organic ones have a label which says that it contains the mother or with the mother. Coming to the benefits, I'm going to talk about the major benefits, my opinion on them and what science says about them. So apple cider vinegar is known to moderate body's insulin response. A study, which I'm going to link below in the description box, conducted on a group of people with type 2 diabetes showed that consuming apple cider vinegar before going to sleep reduced the glucose levels the next morning. This study, along with numerous others, support the claim that apple cider vinegar can improve blood glucose levels in diabetics. However, you must remember that does not make it a replacement for your medication. You can use it as a supplement and that too after consulting your doctor. I've realized consuming apple cider vinegar 10 to 20 minutes prior to meals reduces appetite. Also promotes satiety because of which when you eat less, you tend to lose weight, which is why so many people use it as an aid to losing weight. However, if you're thinking that without changing your diet and exercising, you lose weight just because you're consuming apple cider vinegar, you need to think again. Improved blood cholesterol levels. A study in Pakistan Journal of Biological Sciences conducted on diabetic and non-diabetic rats, which were given apple cider vinegar showed reduced LDL levels, LDL is the bad cholesterol, and increased HDL levels, HDL is the good cholesterol. And another study on obese Japanese subjects revealed reduced body weight, body fat mass, and serum triglyceride levels after consumption of apple cider vinegar. I'll link these two studies in the description box below as well. But once again, remember, this does not replace your medication, so don't go around quitting your medication or any other drastic steps without consulting your doctor first. Improved gastrointestinal health. Whenever I have experienced bloating or nausea, apple cider vinegar has been my relief. And other people I've met also agree that apple cider vinegar can bring relief for whenever their digestion is upset. The healthy bacteria in the mother of apple cider vinegar plays the role when it comes to improving digestion. Antimicrobial properties. Hippocrates used apple cider vinegar for cleaning wounds. And the use of apple cider vinegar as an antimicrobial and antifungal has been well established since then. People use it on the skin for acne as well. The healthy bacteria in organic apple cider vinegar also boost immunity and help fight off infection. And because of its antimicrobial properties, apple cider vinegar has also been used as a preservative. Using apple cider vinegar is very simple. I use a tablespoon diluted in around half a glass of water. Consume it before meals usually, once a day only and not daily either. I also use it as part of salad dressings or in smoothies. It's very simple. However, be careful, never use apple cider vinegar undiluted, always dilute it. Some of the common downsides of apple cider vinegar includes tooth damage and enamel erosion that can be prevented by brushing your teeth after consuming apple cider vinegar or at least rinsing your mouth thoroughly. Reduce potassium levels. Apple cider vinegar can cause skin burns if used on the skin undiluted, say for acne. Therefore, always use it diluted. So apple cider vinegar does have a lot of benefits. However, there is not much research to back this up. But in my opinion, adding it as a supplement to your diet will cause no harm unless you're suffering from some illness which would warrant a consultation with the doctor first. Like I've said for the, I don't know, 10th time in this video. 
I'll be linking down all the studies that I've quoted in this video in the description box. If you want, you can check them out. And if you like this video, you know the drill. Like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. And if you like the type of content that I make on this channel, please share the channel with the people around you.